any field is representing force on a unit charge and force is a vector quantity so field is also a vector quantity similarly magnetic field is a vector quantity this formula Biosawa's formula that dv is equal to this 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 gives the magnitude of the magnetic field but can we write it along with its direction and that form of writing Biosawa's law will be known as vector form of Biosawa's law like you have done vector form of Coulomb's law. This can also be written in a vector form. Here you see dB is normal to the direction of R and normal to the direction of dL. So how this direction can be represented in mathematical form when we write a formula. So you see which are the vector quantities here. Answer dL is a vector quantity and R is a vector quantity. I is a scalar quantity. Theta is only a fraction sin theta is only a fraction. So we have these two vector quantities here. How we convert it into a vector equation so that the direction is also represented. So the answer is dv vector is given by mu naught upon 4 pi i and here we will have dl vector cross vector r divided by q. This is the formula for vector form. Now if I ask you to find out its magnitude then you know the magnitude of a cross product a cross b vector a cross vector b is equal to a b sin theta. So this will also be dl r sin theta. So this will be mu naught upon 4 pi and this will be i dl into r is dl r sin theta and this will be r cube. 1 r is cancelled i dl sin theta upon r square i dl sin theta upon r square. This is magnitude. This is the vector form. Now in this vector form who are having the cross product dl and r. Here dl is in this direction, r is in this direction. So db which is a third quantity the vector product will be in this direction. See here if this is dl this is r then this will be the uh, product of the two that is dl cross r and that is the direction of db. So this gives the vector formula for Biosawa's law.